another update regarding the Yes Jules thing. So, the Yes Jules v Kanye thing has been really interesting, or the Yes Jules v Ye thing has been really interesting, just for the mere fact that when you really analyse it, there's not much reason why this girl should be that bothered or that annoyed about losing a job, apart from the fact that she lost a job working for somebody so influential, working for such an amazing... Uh, working during such an amazing period where they're rolling out, you know, uh, free volumes of fucking vultures and shit. Like, it's a bad time to leave, right? And to kind of be ousted from Yeezy, especially considering as well, you have other questionable people they already have working there. To be the first person that kind of gets publicly fired in that way, bit of an L. But apart from that, the only difference is he's not feeling you. He didn't like how you talk to the fans. He told you to skedazzle. It is what it is. For some reason, um, yes, Jules is still trying to prove that she didn't do a bad job and that she got unfairly fired in the court of public opinion, which is odd. And then she did a really weird, lame, corny thing online where she basically said, hey, I'm going to really speak my piece. I'm going to really kind of go out there and speak from the heart and show you all the evidence, all the screenshots about why I was wrong, then blah, 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 about why this person is, why this person is. And I think at the end of it, it was like, yeah, sign up to my Snapchat. So she used all this kind of, you know, attention on her, all the questions around the, you know, the, I guess the scandal side of her getting fired to kind of funnel it all back to her Snapchat, which is essentially her like PG version of an OnlyFans, um, where she kind of does like bespoke content, some of it obviously showing her body and some of it mostly like around like marketing and branding and whatever when it comes to sort of music stuff. So, but in general, it just looks a little bit weird, a little bit lame. So somebody luckily was able to pull some of that stuff from snapchat and post on twitter because most of us aren't going to download snapchat to go watch a yes jewel story or download snapchat full stop so thank you for everyone that did that and one person that did do it was this account on twitter called yeezy johnny so they posted some of the screenshots that yes jewels put out there the caption by yeezy johnny says as follows yes jewels violating an nda on snapchat after yay posted a lawsuit against her is very unwise in my opinion she leaked file name for a new body and text between yeezy team and her and yay so let's read through the texts because i think the texts are fucking hilarious because it's always good to see how these people communicate behind the scenes if you get a chance it's just kind of funny to see that most of the time especially in kanye's case he is exactly the same way in dms um on sms on iMessage um than he is when he speaks in front of a camera it's basically if, if anything is sometimes a bit more ramped up because he knows he's not you know under the scrutiny of the public eye and shit so let's see this is one text between yes jules and yay um she says to yay packing for airport should i be prepared to go to saudi with the team so it seems like even at this point this is december 14th yes jules wasn't on good terms with the team or in good standing let's say to the point where she had to request from Ye directly, hey, do you want me to come to Saudi Arabia with you guys? Or do you don't, you know what I mean? Like, she's not really in the inner circle, um, you know, you go wherever Ye goes type of thing. She she kind of gets brought along when they kind of want her or w when they can tolerate her. And any, any other time, she kind of gets left to the side. That's what I'm reading into. Again, it's only one text. It could be nothing. It doesn't mean anything. He said yes. Then she posts, I guess, a link to Tiger's number. Um, then Kanye posts a link to new body. The caption on this from Snapchat says, I was asked to assist with the event in Vegas, which was also planned by his team. And I simply assisted the inviting the artist doing my best to assist them with logistics for attending. So she's suggesting that, hey, um, Kanye was already organizing this event in Saudi Arabia, had nothing to do with me. I was just assisting and inviting other artists to join. So I guess, again, she's doing that thing that she does quite often, I think. There is a lack of um one of one of the things I guess is one of her down is one of her faults. Maybe because she's answering too many people online at the same time. She doesn't take a lot of accountability for her own actions. It's always somebody else's fault for misunderstanding, misrepresenting, reading too much into it. It's always that sort of thing. It's never her saying, Oh yeah, you know what, I fucked up there. I probably sent that text wrong. I probably shouldn't have followed that person. I didn't follow through on this thing. Like, it's mostly everyone else's fault and not hers, which is, you know, whatever. Maybe, or maybe that's what you have to do in that world. Maybe in that world of, like, celebrity, marketing, influencing, activation, you kind of have to be very quick to say, hey, that wasn't me. Because if you do let people blame you for certain things, that might affect your ability to get hired in other jobs because you might have that stink on you. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass. Next screenshot here. 
um, between Yes, Jules and Ye. Um, yes, Ye says he's 30 minutes out. She texts him and says, anything to drink? Any songs you want to hear as you are entering? And he says, make it go silent. Just all silent. Carty here? Question mark. And, and she says, done. So she's trying to be accommodating, be a bit of an assistant. Hey, do you want a drink? Blah, blah. He should just make it fucking silent. Um, she, he, asks if she, he asks if Carty's there. So clearly more proof that Carty is just elusive and mysterious with everybody. So Aiden Ross should probably be a little bit more understanding about how Carty is and shouldn't take it personally. Carty is a diva and a big timer and he egos and he kind of like stunts on just about everybody. I don't really personally like it or people do that sort of stuff anyway. I think that whole purposefully mysterious, I'll, I, I can be a cunt to you because I'm socially awkward type of thing is fucking lame. But it is proof that even Ye doesn't know where Carty is. <laughs> yes, no, he has asked yes, Jules. So uh, she says done, doesn't answer the Carty question. So he repeats it and writes Carty's full name. Is Playboy Carty here? <laughs> then she replies an explanation. I have not been able to confirm that. When I called them a few hours ago, they said that they had no idea it was still happening. I'm sorry. I wish it was involved from the beginning. I would have made sure he was here. Lots of great people were here ready to see you. So I guess maybe she's not including the part of the messages where she was maybe in charge of making sure Carty got there because it sounds like Ye thought she would know. Maybe she would, Maybe that's what she was... Maybe that was... Maybe Carty was on her list of people that she had to kind of get over the line. I don't know. Either way, it seems like, you know, she was copying a lot of pleas there. There's a big amount of text there that he's not replying to. Um, he, re he, he replies and says, we in front and don't know where to go. And then she replies and says, I have platform and deep and booth completely cleared and mic in hand. Where are you? I've been waiting at the artist's entrance. I did the best I could for you. But if you let me lead, I can be far better. So happy that you came in with us, heart. So I guess this is proof that at one point Ye did like her and did like her working and was appreciative of her getting involved and leading certain things and getting them over the line. Another screenshot shows um, Ye saying everybody cap sabotage two events in a row. Ye was rightfully pissed off and exiled the majority of the team for the chat. If I if I can't work it out, there's a problem with that. Pass your video along. So then, Ye, the funny thing about this is that Ye says that, right? Everybody caps. I'm going two events in a row. Then Ye goes on his, on his group chat thing and look who he removes. He removes all these people. Latif, uh, Sam, Samasi, Kyrie, Create Marketing, Hamid Bello, uh, Ryan Han. All these people get deleted from the fucking group chat <laughs> because Ye's not happy. I love how he kind of acts like in real life, like his little fucking tantrums, right? This grown ass man, like removing people from the fucking group chat when he's fucking rid of them and he's fucking, you know, they haven't maybe helped him kind of achieve his goals and shit. So that's the basically extent of most of it. And I guess the last screenshot to kind of recap on this is Yeezy um, Johnny has posted a proof courtesy of Kanye defense team and again proof with um you know uh what you call it proof in brackets because we don't know Wagwan. Um it says here allegedly this proves that yeast yes Jules did sign an NDA and we've got here screenshots I guess from the NDA document one on the left here with her name Juliana Goddard and another one here with her name as well so they're alleging that she actually did sign an NDA so she's liable and that she has to you know face the music when it comes to this eight million dollar fucking uh court case pretty crazy pretty wild I don't think it's gonna go that far I think if anything it's just a sign or an indication of how annoyed Ye and maybe team Yeezy was with her at that time I think in general, they'll probably drop it because, you know, court cases are expensive. They take up time. Um, it's probably going to cause her a lot of headaches. She probably might reach out and say, hey, guys, let's resolve this amicably. Um, but it is maybe a situation that she should probably take a back to take the foot off the pedal a little bit and not be so quick to sort of defend yourself in public because it doesn't matter now. It's in the courts. Um, defend yourself there and kind of clear your name there as best as you can. But I think online, her perception is her perception for better or worse. Um, kind of deal with it. Make it work for yourself. Because I think she did really well so far making it work for herself, right? Being this kind of sexy girl that does marketing uh, for musicians and shit and does like branding and activations for them. She has done, she has done that pretty well. Kind of 
using her body as kind of like a Trojan horse. And then when you kind of get closer and look into it, it's all kind of marketing inspirational, blah, blah, you know, um, quasi kind of Christian single mom talk. So she does that really well. I think now the game or the key should be just to kind of like pull away from all this stuff. Stop trying to defend yourself against, you know, Kanye fan pages who are, by their very definition, um, you know, ride or die Kanye fans and it will never ever side with you, especially when he's been so publicly against you. Um, so just allow all that and kind of keep it moving. But I guess it's maybe easier said than done, especially when somebody of the caliber of Ye is publicly besmirching your name with the backing of a Milo and obviously with one of the biggest and most fucking powerful um, fan bases that exist out there. I don't understand why she's finding it hard to just like shut the fuck up. But I think she should shut the fuck up. Anyway, moving on from this. 